it right. Quiet, you're making me lose count. You've already got twice as many as me. Okay, that's one footy duty for you. And one for me. One for me. You're doing it again. Doing what? That's two for you. No, it's not. It's one. I said one for me. It was my turn. Frank. Right, and now it's mine. One for me. Oh. Frank! Here, Frank. Stacy, have you seen Frank? Nope. Why? We're getting him fixed today. Fixed? I didn't know he was broken. Bradley, fixed. Fixed? Fixed. fixed. Oh. Mom, how come Frank's got to get fixed? Well... <laughs> Puppies! That answer your question? Let's split up. He's got to be around here somewhere. I'll meet you back at your place. We'll take care of that little problem in no time. I just love puppies. There's no time to lose. You kids go that way. Stell, you go this way, and I'll go. Frank! 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 Run for it, Frank! Real mature, Bradley. We gotta find him before there's any more. <laughs> Puppies! Okay, okay, we get the idea. I just don't see what's the big deal. You like Frank, don't you? Duh. So why not have more of him? Because there's only one Frank. <laughs> At least there used to be only one. Hi, boys! Hi, Dale. Great news, you guys! I finally figured out what I'm gonna be when I grow up! A foghorn? Hey, you guys! Hey! Look out! Can't you see? There's rocks over here! A car alarm? Hey! Somebody's stealing your car, okay? Well, not the whole car, just the stereo! Hey, are you listening? You guys! I'm gonna be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Just think about it. Lawyers never stop talking. They just go on and on and on and on and on and on and on we and get on the and on. All they do is argue with people all day and they get paid a bazillion dollars. Is this the life for me or what? You might be onto something, Dill. But right now we gotta find Frank. Frank? How come? Whoa! What are you gonna do that for? I'm warning you, don't get her started. Let's look at the big picture. This one wiener dog can produce an average of six puppies three times a year. I see what you mean. If the average lifespan of the average wiener dog is 12 years... Whoa! That's a lot of wiener dogs. So what? You want the whole world to be taken over by wiener dogs? We gotta find him before it's too late! Oh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna find him first. And we're gonna run away to a deserted island. Oh, no, you're not. Why not? Just not. Oh, not? Yeah, not! Here now! What's all this caterwauling out there? Mr. Hooker! There's gonna be billions of billions of billions of billions of Quiet! Let's have some order in the courtyard. Now, what do you got to say for yourselves? Actually, your honorableness, I'll be represented by my incredibly expensive lawyer. Who? I was afraid of that. Holy mackerel! My first case! Mr. Your Honor, Your Highness, if I may! Wait a minute. I get to go first. Why? Because I've got a bigger case. Duh! It's not the size that counts, you know. You're all gonna end up in the hoose cow if you don't settle down. Now, let's hear from the defense. Your doddlership, the defense calls our first witness. Well, what's your testimony, Miss Polly? I just love puppies! Objection! How's that? The witness can't even tie her own shoes yet, Your Honor. Now, wait just a minute there. That's reverse ageism, Stacy. 
defense moves at the persecution take that back. Yeah! I take it back. Okay. Let me handle this, okay? You What's that smell? What? What's that smelly Russell doing here? Are you kidding? The people present exhibit A, Your Honor. Oh? Not O, A. I mean, Your Honor, let's be frank about the overpopulation problem. We need some perspective. Imagine, if you will, the whole world totally overpopulated by Exhibit A here. Who you calling A? They'd be in France. Qua. In South America. K. China. Shen Mi. That. And what? Your Honor, you gotta stop this madness. Objection, your big shotness. We're not talking about Russell. Well, what are we talking about? We're talking about Frank. Oh, that's right. Proceed. Your good graciousness, imagine if you will, a world full of Franks, spreading love and joy. And what about all the drool? Objection. Intentional gross out. Your high and mightiness, this is a travesty. What's a travesty? Um, I don't know. Well, get a dictionary, why don't you? I'm handling this. Your Honor, I'd like to ask just one simple question. Well, that'd be a switch. Who's gonna feed those things? I will, Your Awesomeness. Oh, as if. Statistically speaking, most children become disinfatuated with a new pet within four to six weeks, leaving the responsibility for its primary care to a parent or other adult guardian. You still here? Whose side are you on? Your orneriness? If the prosecution gets their wish. A real mature counsel. You obviously don't know anything about modern veterinarial techniques. It's going to the modernest, deluxest wiener dog care place in the world for your honor's big fat information. They've got mud baths. They'll get a relaxing massage. Then a full oatmeal and cucumber facial. Allowing Frank's true inner wienerosity to blossom and spread joy and happiness. Oh. Forgot my ruler. Mm, measure once, cut twice, I always say. <laughs> or was it? It's cruel and unusual torture. Who knows what they'll do to him? Run for it, Frank! Frank? Stella, he's over here! Go, Frank, go! Bradley! What? Where are they? Whoa! They must be thirsty! Or else... Go, Frank! I gotta clean that pool. You can't buck me out, Sporky. Yeehaw! Yippee Ayo Kaye! There he is! Somebody catch him! Right behind you, Stell! See him? He went that way! 
Man, that wiener dog can move! Looks like we lost him. Shh. I guess the defense rests. Don't wake him up! Huh? What happened? Well, now I can finally get over to your mom's and fix that dishwasher. Dishwasher? You mean... Well, sure. What did you think? Uh, nothing. Well, case closed. <laughs> Today, the cafeteria had your favorite. Five pound pizza with marshmallow bits and extra pickles. And the spelling test was all one letter words. Oh man, I could have aced that one. And we watched Godzilla versus the Wormazoid in math class. Oh, I love that one. Oh well, at least I missed gym class. Gym class was canceled because the circus came to visit. Oh sure, Stacy, as if. <laughs> Thanks for coming to cheer me up. That reminds me. Here's your homework. Very far. Ah, I do. Oh, the Sims Wenham's widow, Baba. Cut it out, Stace. Oh, oh, ah! Something's been poking me all day. Ugh. Under the mattress. Let's see. Hockey puck, shoes, rock, cell phone. Cell phone? In case of monsters. Oh. Flares. Monsters! Monster alert bracelet. Can of Monster Be Gone. Monster compactor. Hey, what's this? The big fat book of fairy tales? Well, well. I didn't know you were the fuzzy little forest animals and fairy princess kind of guy. Not. I've never seen that before. To Bradley with love and smooches, Auntie June. Very nice bee man. I don't even have an Auntie June. <laughs> okay, okay. It was for my birthday. But I never read it or anything. Ow! There's still something poking me. There's nothing left under here. <clears throat> Except this mighty micro man of action guy. Ah, oh, that's better. What? You could feel that? Wow, it's just like that story. What is it? Oh yeah, the princess and the pea. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. Huh? And she had to pee real bad. That's not how it goes. It's about how she can't sleep with even one little pea stuck under a whole stack of mattresses. And Never read it, huh? Uh, I mean, I was talking about that prince. And he can't, he can't sleep because, uh, his computer's got a virus. Hey, shoot! It's called the prince and the, and the PC. See? I don't think so, Princess Bradley. Yeah? Well, here's you. Story beauty. Big fat information, Bradley. I don't snore. I'm so sure. Here, read this textbook from Mr. Coffin's geography class. Glacial moraines are formed. One day, a handsome prince comes to give you a kiss that'll finally wake you up. But he's so grossed out by all that drool coming out of the corner of your mouth, he runs away and joins the country and western bed. Not. 
what really happened is Snoring Beauty gets a kiss from a frog. All right, gross. But he's enchanted, so he turns into a handsome prince. Too bad frog slime has serious side effects. Ah! Real mature, Bradley. Here's one. Once upon a time, there was this prince. He finds this tower in the woods where an old witch is keeping a prisoner. I know this one. It's called Rapunzel. Try Russ Punzel. What? And his hair is so greasy, Sir Bradley can't get a grip. Haven't you ever heard of shampoo? Oh! How about a nice armor wedgie, Scradley? Ah! Sir Lance has it. Why is he so mad at me? Well, it ah! might have something to do with that picture you drew. But how'd they find that? I hid it in your locker. You know me, Bradley. I like to share. Oh, I'm doomed! I'll have to hide in my room till I'm a teenager. That's it, Bradley. A disguise. You can be Little Red Bradley in the hood. Yeah, right. But this is gonna work. Yeah! Oh. Yo, yo, yo. Granny, check one, two. Are you sure it's you? Get lost, kid. I'm waiting for Scradley. See, he can't even tell it's you. I see, I see. That's one seriously thick skull you got there, Granny. The better the headbutt Scradley with, my dear. And since when you be dragging around those big ape knuckles? The better to pound Scradley with, my dear. But, Granny, where'd you get that great big butt? Hey. Do I know you? Oh, yeah, and Granny? What? What's that funky smell? What? Ah! It's Scradley! Get him! Yeah! Thanks a lot, Stan. <laughs> Careful, Scradley. Be sure and save some for us to pound Daddy in. Yeah, save some for us. Oh, I'm doomed. Don't worry, Bradley. I'll have a talk with them. Stacy, just just don't. You've uh, you've you've done enough already. I don't mind. Let's see. How about? Of course, Beauty and the Beast. There's the Beast. Where's the Beauty? Real mature, Bradley. The Beast is over there. Wait a minute. There's two of them. Not if you add up their brain cells. Anyway. After hosing them down with Cologne, the beauty uses her incredible charm and grace and sparkling wit to soothe the angry beast. And, and they fall madly in love with her and want to give her big slobbery kisses right on the lips. Kiss, kissy, kiss, kiss, kiss. Ugh. Ah! Kiss, kissy, kiss, kiss. Quit hogging the story, Bradley. I mean, hey! Come on out, Scradley. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do? Blow the house down? You wish. And so the big bad man stunk the place out with the help of his smelly friend, Russell, as usual. Try again, Beehog. Last chance, Scradley. Better stay back, you guys. You don't want to catch my uh, action! Uh, what? Ah, but Russell's smell was no match for the house made of snot. I should build a fortress out of this stuff. I could be the king of... No, you can be Bradley, the fairy snot mother. She's in charge of making sure all the good little boys and girls never run out of snot. Achoo! But I want to be king! I am Bradley, King of... Okay. Here's the one about King Midas. Everything he touches turns to gold. Cool. How about a snack, your goldness? Ah, oh, cheese poopers and Mr. Fizzy, my favorite. Ow! Hey! I don't want to turn good stuff into gold. 
Don't look at me. You're the one with the Midas touch. Think about it. Hmm. <laughs> Until the greedy king learned his lesson a little too late. The end. Speaking of teaching Scrabble a lesson. Ready for your pounding, sick boy? It's time for your medicine. You guys better not. Oh, yeah? Why not? Because, um... The Midas Touch. You guys ever heard of the Mucus Touch? That's right. Bradley is King Mucus, and he's got the Mucus Touch. Which one of you wants to go first? Get away, Scradley. Whoa, dude! Get off me! Let's get out of here. That'll teach you to mess with King Mucus. Now you guys can really stick together. Quick thinking, B-Man. Thanks, Stace. Give me five. Bradley! Uh, got ya. And you thought there's nothing up here, but... Oh, man. Smooth move, Mucus Man. Yeah? Well, you may think it's funny, Stace, but... Don't it's... say it, Bradley. 